we are having a very rare moment where I can grab a bit of food. I had a group of Scottish ladies, amazing, amazing runners, great crack for the weekend over here in the south of France. Check the link of the reel that I produce. Been an absolutely great day. Finished off with Prosecco and strawberries. And now I two days before my next group is coming and it's just going to be absolute chaos. So check out what I'm getting up to in between groups. So over the next few days, I've the, the privilege of having this dude help me. He's a Kerry man that I actually only met about a month ago. And he's already been over once for a weekend to actually move my pump from behind my garage to this new structure we're creating. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, you know, I've posted about angels, about the ladies that have helped out this project. There are these people that are turning up and <laughs> wow, wow. This dude saved me three grand, three grand. And he finished it off in like a few hours. You know, it just goes to show the pricing over here in the south of France, they just absolutely crazy. I got quoted almost three grand to move my pump from there to there. And himself, he rocked up with his body, uh, flew over, had the crack and just got it done in a day. And look, here he's back for working for a whole week, helping me out. We're gonna have some crack because he's gonna help me out in, in with my group uh, this next weekend. But he's a worker, he's a worker. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder what people do, like putting this thing here, you know, which is okay, it has a fuse box or a fucking uh, whatever you call it, excuse my French, and you stick it there where people can, and kids and whatever can fall over it. So we're possibly, Mark, do you think we can, we can bury that? Yeah, we should be doing that, right? Push it over there and bury it, because I mean, it's stupidity leaving it there. People run across it and hit their foot off it. We we lower, take actually. that off. Yeah, put it, right. put, it, put it flush like. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyhow, we're working on the site here. Um, and as you can see, some people do some silly things or maybe quick shortcut solutions. We're working on this platform for the uh, for a sauna. I've always said sauna. I was uh, going to leave it off for till next year. But then said, why leave something off for next year when it can be done this year? And by the grace of God or by the grace of Gina, um, something happened and some gentleman jumped into my instagram who has built his own sauna down in cork and said hey sean i want to come over help you have the crack and wow i mean jesus the cork man helping out a carry man with another carry man there uh it is something really really special i suppose when you reach out to the universe and ask and speak to people and talk to people and give, give, give. Cause I mean, the sauna isn't for me. I would never light the sauna on my own here. Um, and the cost of actually making the sauna, even if I have people helping me, it would actually be easier to go and pay a local sauna. So it's really to produce the best experience that ever could happen. I had a group of Scottish ladies come down here and we're like, oh my God, we're booking in next year, booking in next year. Uh, but I still wanted to be better, 10 times better next year than it is this year. And that's what we're working on. There'll be decking there, hopefully over the next few days, ready for a sauna for autumn time, because I'm thinking again, early September, mid September, have a group over here, have the crack, Let's get shit done, let's get work done, and let's build something really, really cool that people can come over here um, and have a great time in the south of France with the views, with the mountains, with the sea, with the Prosecco, with anything and everything that would really create a special experience. But anyhow, I'm talking too much.
Fucking health and safety isn't big in this site, is it? Huh? You put them on, Jesus Christ. Cheers. <laughs> I suppose the uh, the truth is um, that uh, there's so much going on. There's the renovations. We're in two day gap between camps. I have cleaning lady, but still, uh, the shop needs to be done. The food needs to be prepped. The renovations need to be done. I'm also managing the social media for one of France's oldest races, which is next week. Uh, so much renovations need to be done before I left. I leave. Um, it's just absolutely crazy. Uh, also helping out Jason, um, uh, who is going to uh, set, hopefully, the FKT of the Ireland Way. Um, so he's setting off in a few days. Uh, so it's actually go, go, go time. I don't think there's gonna be much sleep, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Haven't fed me all day or nothing. So we are, here we are, uh, day one of exploiting Mark there, um, uh, and we have. The ironwork, we've got so much iron there, we could possibly recreate the um, the Eiffel Tower. So that should be good. Um, we'll be pouring cement tomorrow. But tomorrow is going to be, oh my God, the absolute craziness. It's been a long day work. i got to jump up to do Facebook Live. Jason is doing an FKT of the Ireland Way. Um, on the computer, lots of, there's lots of stuff in the background um logistics people wanted to come to the alps in the pyrenees and wanted to be dropped off in geneva and come to toulouse and stuff like that so all that has to be managed at night time so the nights are very very short um and the group is arriving like in 36 hours uh, we are now is it tuesday evening they are arriving on thursday morning so tomorrow everything needs to be prepared, the house cleaned, the food prepped, the shopping done, this cement needs to be done. Um, so I really don't know how everything <laughs> is going to fit into one day, but it's going to be a little freaking crazy. And before I jump on the Facebook Live there with Jason and Instagram Live, I will be jumping into my hole there to dig, 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 dig. Uh, we need to dig out lots of art, a few, a few ton of art, to be honest. To be fair, I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it. It should have honestly be done before. But anyhow, these things happen. You just got to get shit done. All right, ladies and gents, let the mix begin.
gonna be honest with you, we had a little fucking issue. A little issue, we didn't support the roof. So we had to scrape back all the cement and fucking take these off to support it and then we start again. Ooh la la, hmm, too much going on inside the head. So yeah, we had an issue, serious issue. We did fuck up, you know, my fuck up. I take uh, full responsibility for it, basically. We're putting this on here and ending this, then they kind of drop and fucking go to slant. So it became clear when I went down, I actually forgot to put the supports, okay? Which Mark's is, Mark is now fixing, but we had to basically remove all the cement and then the blocks. And there's Mark there fixing it, okay? So, uh, so it's uh, it's put us back a few hours, but shit, shit happens, you know. It's all a learning process. We fix it, just like anything in life. It's a learning process. We're laughing, we're having the fun, we're blaming each other. Well, it's my fault, but I'm blaming him. Um, and we're just getting it done. We're finding solutions. You got a problem, you find a solution. That's it. So this is it. Like it looks a bit messy, but it's all right. It's coming together. We've managed to take everything off. Uh, and push things up and now we're going to support it before we actually drop the cement on top of it so i could have hidden this and i was thinking do i want to share this uh but because i pride myself in complete complete transparency um just has to be shared anyhow i know if i had some of the boys tom or padrig podge uh or liam over here all the brickies it would have been like it would have been simplicity, uh, the, the one thing to do before you do it. But we're in a hurry. I got a group arriving in a few hours and I got to head out and do shop and, 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 and cook and everything. So it's going to be a long, long night before a long, long weekend. Anyhow, I was actually wondering why the shop gave me too many iron bars. It's almost as if they knew I was going to fuck up. So great, we got more iron bars. Do it add even more solidity to this structure but hey it's all fun isn't it Fix, you fix yeah, the fuck I fixed up. Your mistake. You fix your my mistake. Is that hey, hey, you, hey, hey, cop, you truly in hell. Anyhow, right, here we are. Oh, look, it looks fairly bloody level. And look, we have these big boys here. They have these big boys. Right, take two. Let's go. So it's literally been a long, long day trying to uh, trying to recover from mistakes. Um, I've been out. I've spent the day out uh, preparing, shopping, getting stuff ready. And now I'm actually going to cook for 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 my group that we're picking up tomorrow. Mark is still going, still going. Look, he's an absolute machine. Look, he's still going. Whoa these type of people you just you just you just couldn't hire these type of people they're doing it out of passion so anyhow here we are uh in need sleep trail run uh it's it's a project of passion because otherwise we bloody well wouldn't be doing it uh getting people over here getting them happy getting them out on the trails in the sunshine um obviously all these struggles are one time only we're building this place i have so many people coming on board helping me out it's truly truly magical uh obviously there's some fuck-ups 
Uh, but hey, that's part and parcel of life. It's not the fuck ups, it's how you actually recover. And we recovered big time today, big time. We rallied around. It was hot, it was hard, it was tired, our backs are aching, but we got out there and fixed it and it's looking pretty damn good. Thank you.